Hey, what's up? Easy Overdose here. So, I'm going to show you how to make Pure Block load on startup. If you don't know what Pure Block is, then I'm not sure why you're here, but I'll tell you. It's an IP filtering program, and it comes with uh, this option here, start with Windows. If you check that, it does not work. It's something to do with digitally signed files. I'm not really sure. All I know is it don't work. It never has worked. Uh, for years. This program's been out for years and years and years. It's never worked. But there is a way around it. And that way is through Task Scheduler. So you open up your Start menu and you try to type Task and it should pop up. And you're looking for the clock icon, Task Scheduler. Uh, you open it up, you get a page looking like this. On the top right corner, you're going to Create Task. We're going to name it something. Uh, we're just going to name this one. SDF because uh, it's going to be a test one and we're going to run with highest privileges at the bottom make sure you check that that's admin okay uh, this right here is well configure for change this to your appropriate operating system triggers click new go up to the top in the drop down box tell it at log on not a startup at log on if you tell it to start up, it won't work. It has to be a log on. Well, it hasn't worked for me in the past anyway. So then you're going to hit OK. You're going to leave all this stuff uh, blank. Make sure that's enabled at the bottom by default. It is. Actions. New. Make sure the actions start a program. Hit Browse. And then uh, navigate to your peer block folder, which is going to be, should be in uh, Program Files, the non uh, parentheses x86 program files and then pick peerblock.exe hit OK conditions um, this power thing I'm pretty sure this is something for laptop uh, personally I uncheck it and it's it's always worked for me unchecked if you're on a laptop you might want to look into that a little bit deeper sorry I can't uh, help you with that a little better settings I like to do this is kind of personal preference over here Run task as soon as possible after a scheduled start is missed, of course. If the task fails, restart every one minute and then up to three times. Um, if it doesn't, if something messes up and it doesn't load after three attempts, I think you got bigger problems. So uh, default numbers are good there, in my opinion. And then this one, I uncheck this one. Stop the task if it runs longer than three days. So no, I'd like to keep it running at all times, so I'm unchecking that. I'm um, leaving that one checked by default, uh, this one unchecked by default, and leave that drop down box the same as default. Then you hit OK. And you can come down here and verify that it created it in this list of stuff. And here is our SDF. And I actually already have uh, a peer block task created that I did when I just uh, reformatted recently. And just uh, an extra little tip that if you're here because of PureBlock, uh, you might want to know about this uh, nifty little program. It'll load up for me. It's called uh, DNS Crypt, and it encrypts your DNS. Let me see if it actually has a... So the little piece of info on the program on the front page itself it says uh, encrypts DNS packets between your computer and open DNS this prevents man-in-the-middle attacks and snooping of DNS traffic by ISP or others so with all this NSA bullshit going around um, you're constantly being spied on you know why not so the thing with this program is when you uh, set it to load by default it uh, runs in your startup right here if you were to go to msconfig and you would have um, an input like this and this works but on boot up it flags the uh, UAC the Windows program firewall UAC and you have to click yes and allow it otherwise it'll time out eventually like if you just boot your computer and you go AFK and come back it won't be loaded so there's a way around that with the steps that I just showed you. So what you're going to do 
with that is the exact same thing we just did. Let me delete this uh, test one I did for you guys real quick. And it's literally the same thing. Um, the only difference is I changed the program to, and then the program of course is OpenDS, OpenDNS interface. And a good way to figure this out and figure out where it is, is you can just right click at the bottom, go to Start Task Manager, and then you're going to find the program. That's the program running, right? So that's what you want it to load. Right click on it, open file location. Okay, and then when you click up at the top, just one time at the, the far right where it's empty, you can see it, it highlights it. Now this is your file path that you want to go to. So if you, you know, want to figure out where something's at, that's where it's going to be at, and you can either navigate to it, or you can leave this highlighted, hit Control c or right-click and copy, and when you get to the point of you need to tell it to find a program, you can just click up here the same way and hit Control v So I just pasted, or you can right-click and paste, of course, too, and then you just hit Enter, and then you're in that folder now, so now you just pick your... Uh, program that you would need to pick. Now this works for all kinds of different programs. This is just uh, two examples I'm showing you here. I don't know what else you need to load like this, but it, it can serve many functions. And then basically all this stuff is uh, the same. So that, actually, it's the exact same. And then you just hit OK on that one too. So now you have two things that load up, and what this will do, once again, is bypass the uh, user account control flagging of Windows when you log on. So if you log on and leave, it it doesn't time out and the program will run and it will basically run in an automated fashion the way you don't have to consent that it's okay for it to run. So uh, there's a little tech tip of the day. Hope you enjoyed it.